Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Dippin' Dots for you. I have never had Dippin' Dots Neither in my I. life. I've seen them in the mall and mm -hmm. places, but I've never had them before. They are tiny beads of ice cream, yogurt, sherbet, and flavored ice. In 1988, microbiologist Kurt Jones used his knowledge of cryogenic technology to invent Dippin' Dots, an unconventional ice cream treat that's remarkably fresh and flavorful, introducing the world to beaded ice cream. In order to maintain their fun shape, Dippin' Dots must be stored at negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, much colder than regular ice cream. Most grocery store freezers and home freezers aren't cold enough to hold Dippin' Dots, therefore they do not sell them in traditional take-home outlets. They do have select convenience store outlets though. So, so if you go to the Dippin' Dots website, they will tell you where they're sold. It sounds like though, you can have them in a regular freezer, it just won't hold the dot shape. It won't hold the dot shape. Yeah, right. it'll, be, it'll just kind of smurge into one like ice cream. The way that I got these, Ashley went to a convention and she got a coupon. And the coupon was for 20% off plus free shipping online only. So I ordered these online. You can try to use this code. I don't know how many times it'll work, but you can try to use this code. If you're interested, I'm going to hold it up here. It's right here. And that says DDN. CUR18. It expires the not till a year from now. Next yeah, year, 19. 2019. So if you're interested, but you have to be home, you have to know that they're not going to hold their shape. Yeah. You can't just, you're not supposed to just put them in your freezer. You're supposed to eat them right then. They're packed in dry ice when you get them. But I ordered these. I took advantage of this because free shipping. I'm all about the free shipping. Yeah, because this would not tell how much it would have cost. It was going to be like $26. Of shipping? Yes, just shipping was going to be like... For six of these little six. packets. Yeah. These were $3.17 each. Uh, this is the banana split flavored ice cream. It says Dippin' Dots Dot Crazy. Uh, one package is 160 calories. So I'm just going to cut different. this open. And the banana split... Okay, it's supposed to have vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate flavors in here. I'm gonna try to hold this up for you. <laughs> With that dumping on the table. There you go. That's how they look. And like I said, I've never had these before. So some people like them, some people don't. Are you ready? Go for it. Get you up. All right, spoonful. We're cold. Mm hmm. Oh, I like that. The flavor is excellent. But I can taste, um, I can taste the yogurt. Mm, I get a banana, the mostly banana. I just let my melt in my mouth. Those are good. Mm-hmm. I'll try that piece three, three something. Three seventeen, and you could eat the whole package for 160 calories. It's not bad because you could make it last a little while. And and I looked online. If you go to the, like I said, if you go to their store locator. Uh, there are stores around us that have the special freezers mm -hmm. that'll hold these, and so you could go in those stores and buy these. This is the cotton candy flavor. The banana split's excellent because I, I love banana split. It's anyway. very, it is very good. I don't know that I got a chocolate flavor from it. No, most of banana. That's pretty. This is 100 calories. Yeah, it's only 100 calories for the whole thing. And that's a lot. That that will last you a while. And I love cotton candy. Mmm. Mmm. Super calm. Super calm. <laughs> that one's not as strong a flavor. It took me a while mm -hmm. to get it. It's there. But it's not it's not as strong as I would have liked it. No, and it's, it's a, good. It is a I think it's a brief flavor. Yeah, it doesn't that one's not one I would probably buy again. Because the flavor is just not as no, it's good. I mean mm -hmm. I, I get a little bit of the lingering mm -hmm. uh, cotton candy flavor, but it's not very strong flavor, it's just that. 
Yeah, I don't think it's not near as good as the banana split, yeah. believe it or not. And I love cotton candy. And but it's not really that many more calories the cotton the banana split. So. No, I'd rather have the banana split. Now this one I ordered because it said made with sour patch kids. This is called red berry sherbet. <laughs> And it made with Sour Patch Kids, and it is 130 calories. I and could picture having a whole freezer full. Well, you could have a freezer. That's the bad thing. You can't keep them in you your freezer. You can't keep them in the freezer. So we're because it would be awesome. Do. These would be an awesome nighttime treat because yeah. they're going to last you a while. But yeah, you they won't hold their shape. So if if you're getting these at the store, you're going to eat them immediately. Yeah. you're not getting them. So it's kind of a, It's kind of a. A neat idea and I like the texture and I like the, the cold, I like the feel of it, the mouth feel of it, but it's kind of impractical. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love that. Mm-hmm. It tastes like liquid candy. It it it's it tastes like strawberry. Did you just Leave it to Kevin. Um, it, it, it tastes like a combination of strawberry and cherry. Mm -hmm. I, like that. I like that one. Probably better than the banana flip. It, it tastes like you've liquefied a Sour Patch Kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah, that's really good. I like these a lot. I would, and now knowing what they taste like, I would not feel bad about buying, going to the mall and buying and thing getting these at the mall. Yeah. Because it would take you a little while to eat it. Yeah, I've always been afraid of getting them. That's what they look like. But when they it start is melting. already. I want to show you. It's already. And you'll see this at the picture. At the picture at the end, because I, I'm going to be taking a picture of it. Yeah, the you see the edges? To, they're already starting to melt. You know. So that's what it's going to look like. Well, I think they're good. Definitely worth trying out. If you get them mm -hmm. in a store near you, I would definitely get them. Or if you want to use that coupon, go for it. And try to use the coupon code and see if it works if you're interested. But just know you can't, you're gonna have to eat them as soon as they come in. Yeah. So don't order a bunch of them. Yeah. So, can't store them. I hope you enjoyed the review. I'm gonna take a picture of these while they're still, while I'm still able to. And thanks for watching. Okay, I wanted to show you what one of these looked like after it had been in the freezer. This has been in the freezer probably six hours, probably. Um, it, it's still dots for the most part. Um, it doesn't look too bad. So, so you, I mean, it's kind of a, a hunk in the middle right there, but overall, I mean, it did hold its shape pretty decently, better than I thought um, from their description on their website and stuff. I was expecting it to be just like this puddle in there, basically, but it seems to be held up uh, pretty good. Let me take a bite. Hold on. I don't know if I can get a, there we go. Flavor's still good. It's still super cold, but I bet you that wouldn't last more than um, maybe a day or so, and it's gonna cool down enough to where it probably will, um, it's not as hard, it's very, it's soft now. Flavor's still really good though, so if you did save it, I think you'd be okay.